ูดเว้นเรบาบาตาวันบายวันเรบาบาตาวันบายวันนมันยา from seven to five to whether you in the metropolitan or u s e k a y a or why not or b o n a Hosan, e k a g a s i n i We'll even give you some good hope. Hey! Hey! Podcast and chill. Matt G, the Ghost Lady, and Len Moleko. Another, another, another question I've got here. Um, do your partners partners watch these podcasts? No, nope. nope. Y'all say so much. No, nah, they nope. don't. Nope, they don't. Even my husband does not watch. Nope. Yeah. yeah, nope. My 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 girlfriend's friends watch, and I don't get questioned about nothing I say here. Yeah, nah, you're a ghost. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to. Uh, can I gain? Yeah, it's fine. Nobody sees you. It's like cool. really? What? what? I, I'm like really. What? what? Like none of your spouses watch? No. Or listen no. or nothing? No. no. Like really? Zero. That is so interesting. They don't even my, subscribe. My girlfriend only knows when I fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> so is this like a... Are they, like Is this like a... Are they not worried about what you say? Or is it like a... You guys Do you know how it is, right? I never used to listen to his radio show when he was... No one on did. <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> That's why they let me go. <laughs> <laughs> I never used to watch NN7 as well. Let me just Well, say. that's why it's gone. <laughs> Paper. Oh, shit. <laughs> shit, did you hear the, 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 the homies' houses got auctioned off during the week? Gupta's? Yeah. Which one? The one all in Sex in World. Oh, the whoa, they're going for all of them one by yeah, one. one by you one. kidding? Yeah. yeah, it got sold for two and a half mil actually. They even said Imagine if Zuma buys them. <laughs> <laughs> He's broke. He can't afford them. Rent to lend. <laughs> <laughs> so, the cross was the, the, the cross. That house was so crazy. It was now imagine the yards in Sex and World. Mm. The two yards because it was two brothers, right? The two yards. Were probably as big as or half of what Joburg Zoo is wow. in terms of space. Wow! Do you know how he's, the relationship with Zuma and the Gupta started? How? Hmm. Because the Guptas have been around since Mandela. A long, 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 long ago. Political analyst. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Political analyst. I was a boy. No, no. All I wanted to say is that um, Zuma just chose. Okay, look, I'm gonna be fucked either way. I'd rather choose Indians to fuck me over. No, the Guptas. Yeah. But anyway, that's collab. I just mm. wanted to say that. Oh. Okay. And then Mandela chose? And Mandela? Oh, my. Mandela chose the Oppenheimers. And then Tabumbeki? Same. I get it the way, you know when they were doing the, what's that thing? The charter thing. The Freedom Charter. Freedom Charter. Mm-hmm. There were six people that were sitting in the table. Mm-hmm. And the bum sh- bum not enough. All of them. Okay, it I'm gonna correct biggie. you. No, 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 no. I'm gonna correct you. Mm. The Freedom Charter was the founding statement of the ANC. Mm. Mm-hmm. That was back in 1932, if not earlier than that. I could be wrong. You were thinking about during Kosatu. No, 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 no. When he got out of jail on some of the terms of you getting out, gets a thing. Zamandel. Yes. When you Mandela, to compromise. Was, Mandela was not even, I extend to be corrected, he was not even born when the Freedom Charter was done. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, yeah. But I told you, like, I don't know what it was called. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, but it's I know the Freedom Charter. And then when I say yeah. Freedom Charter, you agreed because just for the sake of the podcast. No, it sounded very familiar. Mm. But there was a table where there was one <laughs> 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 there was What a we portal, know is there was, there was a, a table. Meeting. Yeah, Ramaphosa was there. No. Bakey was, yeah. Okay, wait. Are you talking about the Kosatu thing? Like I said to you, I don't know if it's Kosatu or Freedom Chart. Kind of what is it called? Uh, but man. in order for us to have freedom, Mandela had to make a compromise. Mm-hmm. Something, right? Something. So watershed there, were, there, were, there, 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 there was a was, meeting. Mm-hmm. It was a shed because, meeting. Yeah, be, was, before we got freedom, this thing had started like way back. Mm-hmm. I think we got freedom in 1994. Mm-hmm. It started like in the 90s mm-hmm. where they were massaging Mandela. In 89. 
when you're going to Robben Island. And they started having the chats, you know. Mm. So Mandela was tired of jail. And they took him in a ho- to a house. Yes, and yes. used to visit him and try convincing yeah, him. Yeah, but my point house. is that everybody that was in that room is sorted. Oh. Tokyo's Kuala, Tavumbegi. Tavumbegi wanted to be president, actually. And then he couldn't. So then the Oppenheimers gave him like Bo McDonald's or whatever just to keep him busy. Huh? Mm. And that's why Zuma, they shipped him off to... Where did they ship him off to? Zuma was part of the ANC Intel, Mkonto ANC Intel. So he yeah. was not it's in the country. In he was not he in, was the, country. in so the country. So that's why when he came back, he was mad. And that's why when he came back, he's like, all right, cool, I'm going to feed my people. Bo Ace. Bo Kupta. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But anyway, it's not, a, fed. It's, not, it's not 702. But anyway. Yeah. yeah. There's no UCBRC. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Go slate. Next question. Another question. Oh, yeah. Um, why did you all change the dope orange graphics from Jacob Hadam? Hmm? I think it's the intro. The intro. Yeah, what changed? No, the intro comes in, in and out. It's like December. Okay. Mm. Oh, it's just someone who is like... Oh, you know, a lot of people like that intro song, man. You know what I was thinking? Let's do an actual song. Just beat or there's going to be... No, I get it's a beat already. Mm. So we get rappers. You know like that rapper now who's so famous? So I can rap there. Hey, well. <laughs> hey, Chasing clout. Yeah. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> it's my time is here. Maybe I can be a rapper. You so know like that la- guy who did the, sta- the weather report? So so in the la- yeah. We get Ginger ginger Trill. No, we get our own. Okay. Yeah, Ginger Trill will be our own. No, okay. there's chillers that want to rap, dude. We get our own. We get our own <laughs> Stana. Okay. We get our own ginger. Okay, let's get how many people? Four. Yeah, well, what do you think though? What do you think? That would be nice. Nah. That'll be nice. We actually do a song. We shoot yeah. a music video. Exactly. Everything. Trace, here we come. Cloud, here we come. Plus, we've got that guy can who twerk. can hook us I up can with be cars. The video girl. Mm. We've got Tafuma. We hook up with cars. Yes. We can. You know where we shoot Black Friday now? It's the same place where they shot Fly yes. and Versace. Mm. We can shoot there. Nice. Mm? Okay. Salsa will bring the babies. Mm. Mm. The honeys. The honeys. Mm. Okay. Mm. The, mummies. the mummies. The mummies. Mm-hmm. Mm. Did you see the mummies in Egypt? <laughs> uh, okay, I'll be a mummy. <laughs> but I think it'll be dope, be man. Yeah. No, they're dressed up, but I couldn't see them. <laughs> all... Never mind. Sorry. That's still a classic. Because I like that beat. It's a dope beat, man. So maybe we should make a track. Yeah, oh, we should. It's not a bad idea. It's not a bad Someone idea. said, Ghost Lady, you are happy and jovial, but not content. Mm. Oh. We are Tanzeka, Futi. We are Laleleka. Sounds like and a... it's so swati. I was about mm. to say, it sounds like a swati guy. We are guy. Tanzeka Translate? and Futi, we are Laleleka. Translate? You are... I'm lovable. Yes. And they can listen to me. Oh. You are listening. Is that a compliment? It's a... It's a compliment. It sounded like they were swearing at you. But wait, wait. Ah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'll defend Swati, say. Eh? Yeah. Because you know? I'm in love with the Swati. Okay. Yeah. So as a Zulu girl, uh, just the part that said you are happy and jovial but not content. I don't know what that meant. but You're the most content person I've ever met. Is it? Mm. Thank you. Mm. From McG to, you. to the chillers. All right. Like Ika. Temba Nyawuza says, McG and Len, when are you going to get married? Hmm. Hey. Nage patala lobola next day. Eloi. Eloi. Ungutui. Serious. The ones that actually say it, never do it. That's what my parents taught me. But I'm, listen, I'm just saying. Okay. Good That's point, my story. Salsa. Is Good marriage point. still a thing? It's still a thing. It no. depends on what do you believe. Dog, you know what's, 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 what? The, the most interesting thing that I've noticed is, né? like sometimes when I'm chilling at work or whatever, 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 I notice that there are a lot of people who are in unhappy marriages and those that are leaving marriages. Mm-hmm. And people don't believe in the institution of marriage anymore. So it seems as if like it was a good idea at some point, mm-hmm. but somebody made a very good comment because I was talking to this with a friend of mine when I went to play soccer yesterday, and he was saying that there's a level of with guys, there. Social media is there, mm-hmm. but we're just misusing it. Mm-hmm. 
with guys, we get fascinated by the first girl who's underdressed on Instagram. Yeah. And with women, they get, oh, some of them, not all of them, and guys also, not all of them, some of them, they get fascinated by seeing MacGyver's woman saying, Hore, she's on the swings in Bali there. Next thing, my woman is like, when are you taking me to Bali? Mm. The first guy that comes to offer her to go to Bali, then it's ticket. Okay. But I want to say, I, I, want, I want to debate that point, Lynn, is that normally negativity always kind of like outweighs the positive. Mm. So we, there's a ten, tendency that people lean on, oh, that one is getting divorced. Yeah, marriage sucks. But you're not knowing and you're not acknowledging the ones who are actually living a certain successful marriages. So marriage is only... How many of those do you put on a pedestal? And it depends. It, it, nah. it all goes back to... <laughs> <laughs> like who's the poster relationship for marriage i can only think of the ferguson's top of my head okay though those are good that's all i can think of top of my head i uh, couldn't have just got engaged man. engaged not married uh, he's halfway there she, he opened the gate he's in the yard I'm, I'm i'm asking to go to your point I'm trying to think of them because I, I just thought of when you put the. So Ferguson while you're thinking about here. that, but don't you think it's easier to see it amongst your peers before you go see it on a poster? Yeah. Amongst my peers, there's none. I think you all that are flourishing. The there's no thing. marriages apart from ghost ladies. Mm. You all flourish in the same thing, also. If you think about it, I you actually and have your group of friends all believe in the same no, thing about I've got, marriage. I've got three or four. Like it's birds of a feather. So no, obviously got, you won't see. No, I've got three or four friends. friends who are in marriages that are still going and they but you know you know what lynn sorry to cut you ne? but like based on or going back to what ghost lady was saying you said something about social media ne? Mm. about um what guys see first and what women are there for and all that stuff ne? like what what was marriage or what is marriage to you before social media like what is like marriage? Let's talk about marriage, guys. Let's talk about like linear. In, not linear, like togetherness here yeah, forever. This the, not marriage, not social media, not that's why people are asking and they are genuinely asking. They're not saying because you talk about your girlfriend so much, like do you even believe in marriage? I do. I grew up So you want the same pussy for the rest of your life? Yes. I grew up with uh Strong. Two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather die. <laughs> so, Sipo. Or was it Sipo? Whoever it was. Vos. <laughs> Typical Zulu. Ah. Uh, ah. No, but you guys. Ah. Ah. Tribalism. Ah. There you go. Anyway. <laughs> so. What, 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 I'm, what, what, I'm, what I'm trying to... Oh, what I was saying is you asked me a question on some... I grew up... Do I believe in marriage? Yes, I do. I saw... My parents lived up to their vows because mm. they both stood in front of a, of a muruti and said, till death do us apart. Yeah. And death did them apart. My grandmother and my grandfather also made the same vows, till death do us apart. And death did do them apart. So then there should be other factors in terms of my foundation about marriage that would influence me not to believe in till death do us apart. Yeah. As a married person, ghost ladies, it's still a thing, fam. It's a very much of a thing. And ne. it all rolls back to what do you believe in? Mm. Yeah. You know? And it's all, and, and like Len is right. It's about what you see also growing up. What motivates you? And there's nothing wrong with mo being motivated, whether it's by parents, grandparents, uncles, aunts, or the elders. Or by yourself, or actually. By yourself. You can Some be that person who says, there. "Nah, I go to John's house, and John's mom and dad are always there together." I'll see you later, honey. In in, I also want to do this. I want to do better than where I come from. from. Type of thing. Thank you. Oh, I love that point. I mm. love that point. Mm. So it's it, it basically boils down to the individual and not necessarily, yes, the influence is there. But at the end of the day, it's you can't blame it on 
my background, my upbringing, my what what. In in to a degree you can, but at some point you are able to sort of like craft your mind and say this is what I want. For example, ne, just to add on like what you're saying. I remember my father always worked far from the family. So we literally were like, like raised by my mom with it's my job. dad around. <laughs> 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 oh, it's because I'm Zulu. <laughs> For sake, man. <laughs> <laughs> you tried me here. Eh? <laughs> but I knew growing up, I did not like that. So it did not deter me from saying, I don't, like, don't want to be married because men are far away and whatever the issues I saw mm. and they are trash and whatever. Instead, so getting married, when I met my husband, I said, if there's one thing I want is that I want my husband to be with me 24-7, like in the same household, the mm. same city. We do not... St- so he even knows, even if he looks at a job or if he's uh, contemplating, yeah, there. Another, but he'll be like, do I want my wife to move with mm. me? You know. So and luckily, and when you find someone who is in the same mindset and thinking, then everything works out. Mm. But so you can essentially what she just what the ghost lady just said is you can't be married and then think about yourself before you think about the next person. Mm. Because the minute you think about yourself, you think about your desires, your needs, and everything that you want, and you're gonna outweigh that or those with the next person. And in most instances, the individual's needs will outweigh anybody else's in the individual's life. Salsa, do you have a question for us? What do you want to... You're a chiller. Where did you start watching the podcast? Uh, Don't tell me episode one. My name is Salamina and I started watching the podcast when I was... I think... When wow. it started, <laughs> no, you know how how <laughs> my just went all moon child on us. Drama. <laughs> <laughs> you know how people that are given that are being put on the spot. You put me on the spot, so I was like, eh. Um, no, like I think two months after you launched, mm. I think so. You guys launched twenty eighteen July or something, mm. Ne? Mm. Yeah, like, hey man, like. Yeah, probably like four or six episodes down the line, I started watching, and I watched all six, and I was like, every day I was like, ha, can't today post once a week? Mm. Uh, we used to post once a week, Muna, remember? Hey, mm. good old days. Yeah. <laughs> now it's a. Uh, <laughs> no, give us a question as a chiller. Give us a question that you wanna ask us, for, as our day one chiller. Mm. As a chiller. Mm. Something see. when you watch, you've always wanted to ask us. Start with Len. Wow, why me? Hey, Len, I get it. I mean, Len is, is random. <laughs> he can give me anything. Let me see. Um, Record again. Then. Hey, yeah, we're recording today. <laughs> um, Let me see. Well, it's not a question. Ne? It's like, it's more like an assumption. Actually, let me give you assumptions. Yes. Ne? Okay, I'm going to go yeah. pour some alcohol. Well, start with him. Okay, I'm going to give you guys alcohol. assumptions can you about... bring the alcohol? Okay. Did you leave the class? The class? Yeah. All right. Anyways, I'm going to give you guys a uh, assumptions ne? about uh, each of you. Ghost lady. Let me start with ghost lady. Start with Len. What, can't you, what is it with Len? I'm an easy target. And you are the hardest. Yes. Help me God. Um, assumption about Len. I always thought you... I always thought you date slay queens. I can't afford them. That's besides the point. I can read. This is what I'm assuming from watching. This is what I'm assuming from watching. Hey, remember, slay queens. Yes. Like what you would, always. What you, would the conversation remember, be? Remember, hey, this, this is the microwave, boys. I think you got the wrong channel. <laughs> remember, remember, this is me watching for the first time. Maybe watching another episode or whatever the case may be, ne? Mm. But he looked so composed. I was like, "Yo, this guy, this looked. guy must." So I, I'm not <laughs> composed anymore. No. Okay. Yeah, this is this is assumption, Ziman. Okay, oh. okay, okay. Yeah, must well. I give you definitions on assumptions? Answer the chief. I look like I dated slay queens. No. Yeah, like you look like you are so composed that, man, you date people who, who, you know what? Yeah, get it, get it, trophy. <laughs> you're always on your tablet or your phone and you're like, baby, listen. Give her Amanda Lamin. Baby, listen. Uh, I'm no going to ways. Cape Town. Ne? Hey, you put know, some respect vibes. on her name. He no. looked like, baby, I'm going to Cape Town. Ne? Yeah, I get our one next week. 
No, actually. Um, Jeez, what a boring question. Out of all the questions you've It's not a ask. question, it's an assumption. Oh, assumptions. Yes. Yeah, okay. So, I, 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 I don't subscribe to the whole... I want date a slay queen or whatever, 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 whatever. At some point, I could have fallen for somebody who is considered a slay queen. And I would have gotten on with her like a house on fire. I just happened to have my heart taken, stolen, kept, locked away, looked after by somebody who a lot of people might not consider a slay queen. You know she doesn't watch, so she's not going to hear doesn't all ma- of that. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okay. Sometimes the truth doesn't have to be told to a person in... They f- to their face, you know. Yeah. You just have to say it, yeah. type of thing. Yeah. So, like, I could have met. I mean, like we said the other day, uh, Queen Twerk used to stay here. Mm-hmm. We could have met in the parking lot, and we could have kicked it up or mm-hmm. kicked it off, type of thing. And we could have been happily married or happily. So you're just not that type of guy, basically. Which you know, there's guy? types who actually date slay queens. Nah. What are we talking about here, guys? Hey, the assumptions. Anyways, next assumption about Megji. We are done, I get with you, mm. or some shit. Mm. I've answered, I've cleared. I wasn't there. leaving a question, but. No, I can't date slay queens. I can't no, afford them. No, I have a different <laughs> assumption. <laughs> Wait for your turn. There's a different assumption for you, ne? You actually look like you don't, you will never be in a stable relationship. That's an oh, assumption. Oh, that's a very bad assumption. It's wrong. Do you see, it's but you see up. how wrong assumptions are. That's why they are called assumptions. Mm. They make an you, ass out this of one from the get go. I thought, nah, this guy, one chick to another. Rocking this guy, guy turns out to be in a relationship for 75 years, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he's a whole father. Wow. And she doesn't listen, baby. <laughs> 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 and I can almost bet you there'll be a lot of people commenting about the same thing. Yeah. People thought the same thing about me. No, I, I'll be honest with you. Ne? Now I was a serial cheater. Oh, wow. Fucked okay. up. Fucked up. Did you go into relationships and cheat or did you just leave people to their assumptions on some dating? <laughs> cloud. <Assumptions. laughs> I think Cloud. Cloud led him to, to cheating. No, man. It was, a, it was just a stage, man. I wasn't ready for anything serious until I found, you know, with the girl I'm with now. Then that's when I was like, This is my Ben. Hmm? <laughs> this is my Ben. No, no, no. That's what they, from it. no, but that's what the chillers are calling her. Yeah. So I, it's, 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 it's stages. Mm, stage. yeah. Okay. That's why I don't understand why Nasty C is so committed right now with that girl. Yeah. From when they were still ashy yeah, and shit. Yeah, dog. From when they were six. Dude. That's the you should be rocking now, Mun. Yo, Get it out of your system. Is he not? Wow. <sighs> At 16. I'm asking, I'm asking. Who? Nasty C? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's 16. Okay, yeah. No, there was a thread I saw on Twitter. And uh, some guy was like, they'll be with you when you have nothing and they'll be with you when you have something. Mm -hmm. And then he put a picture of Nasty C and the girl when they were in high school. Mm. And Nasty C and the girl now with bling bling. Like Rachel and Sia Colisi. Yeah, but then if you check the comments, everybody's like, yo, last week I saw him cheating with this girl. Mm. Like, but yeah. how true is that? I don't know. It's assumptions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well done. <laughs> but whether it's assumptions or not, if I was an SEC, I wouldn't be in a committed relationship right now. Like Sia Colisi? I'd just be fucking rocking, dude. Get it out of my system and just live hey, Can we keep life. the subscription under 30,000? Ne? Oh. Yeah, because... Oh, is it out of your system? <laughs> Ah, I don't understand what you mean. What do you mean? What do you Let's... mean? I am just. <laughs> just mm, 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 mm. Wouldn't be the same without me. Right, let's go home, ghost lady. Right, let's go home. Can I make an, an assumption oh, wait, about ghost we... lady? Oh, ghost lady. Oh, because I wanted to go through two or three. Okay, last assumption, one. ghost lady. Um, ah, when are you gonna give me trouble? It, 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 the, <laughs> she doesn't the watch. <laughs> when I first heard you type vibes, ne? you sound like you, you sound like actually you are, you are out there. I don't know how to explain it. Like you would do radio or TV presenting. You sound like that, even though you, you like Vele, you look like you are not for cloud, but you sound like yes. Should like, have her own channel. She sounds like she would kill, like the ghost pre- like presenting or top billing vibes. 
That's how you sound. Ah, it's over. It's salsa. Don't put ideas Woo! in the head. Ah. Don't go. <laughs> ghost lady, ghost lady, don't go. Don't go. This this podcast needs you. <laughs> Clearly. You, you belong to this family tree. Don't worry. <laughs> Just I like, like that uh, assumption. <laughs> To me, Mukati, how old are you? How old are you, McG and Leanse? And does Ghost Lady and Leanse have kids? I don't have kids, and I'm 34 years old. Yeah. And you, Mabena? 32. Ghost Lady? 32 and one kid. Oh, I don't have kids. 32, one kid. Okay, cool. That I know of. Well, <laughs> that I don't know of. Nothing. Um. Yeah, I think that's pretty much... Oh, people want us to come to Durban. When are we doing a Fresh Boy RSA? Says, oh, yeah. A... Speaking about Durban, there's a guy who he reached out on social media. I don't know what, whether it was Twitter, Instagram. I can't remember. Plus, please uh, reach out again because he wanted us to come do a broadcast 16th of December mm. in Durban. Durban. Yes, he's got a venue for us. What? We just have to get there. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. So, dude, please, if you're watching this, please hit me up. Uh, on the WhatsApp line, because I don't know if it was on Twitter or Instagram, and I can't find the, the conversation. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Remember I told you about it? Yeah, you, you yeah. did say, but you said it was never confirmed. Yes, I'm okay. waiting for him to confirm. Almost before we get out of content. here, uh, a very important also question. Also, we're going to play a game, right? No, we Moss. It's we're an hour, 30 minutes. Nkosana Moss is asking uh, about the party on the first with Scoop. Besides the 50 Rand Scooter box, are there any other damages? Nah, nah, it's just cooler box. Okay. Yeah. Last question here it is: Do you think there's a bright future for internet radio in our country? And what do you think is a key that draws people from watching a free airing stations like TV radio? Uh, why do they use their data and tune into something that's on the internet? It's we are in an era where we are content driven, uh, free to air stuff. There's a level of laziness that's happening. Chile, I'm bonk. Press that fucking thing of yours. <laughs> <laughs> and people are just comfortable. Because um, consider somebody walks into a studio, there's somebody who's doing work for them. They just sit there, talk for not more than 30 minutes in three hours. You mentioned they, radio earlier. Do you enjoy this more or radio? To me, this feels like, because I enjoy talk radio, uh, this feels like talk radio. Because I think the age of there's a lot of broadcasters who are still under the illusion that music drives their shows and that is not the point because whatever song you play i can just shazam it and get it on apple tunes i mean on apple music and listen to it and create a playlist what i'm looking for is for content that i can consume while i'm driving and i can laugh and i can relate and i can be like I can I can cry, but whether I'm crying because it's sad or I'm crying because I'm happy, but I want to hear something that while I'm listening to it, it takes me to a space that I, I want to... Because radio, radio is about escapism. Mm. 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 Round of applause, guys. Round of applause. I couldn't have said it better. Lynn, Go to lady, round of applause. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm clapping. <laughs> Where's that thing of yours? <laughs> Yeah, so that's what it, that's what it is. Like Lynn, you know, would you want us to be more professional? Would you want <laughs> a space that was a bit a little bit more professional? It's not even that. Again, like there are places that are professional and they still produce rubbish. E.g. <laughs> it's the fifth letter of the alphabet, and the, never mind. Um, no, man, I'm not gonna be calling people out. It's fine. But there are people who think they are professional and they are professionally run, but we are like. We kidding around and we try be professional in certain instances, but at the core of it, what we do is still content that people are here for. Therefore, can I ask you a question? Yes. Then, eh? Normally, I've heard you say you did not watch an episode or you did not watch. Is the content here in podcast and chill something that you can consume? If mm. I wasn't part of podcast and chill. No, no, no. I'm just saying. Yeah, even if, if you weren't part. Okay, whether I am or whether not. Yeah. Would you? Because I, there's a lot of situ- uh, instances where you say, I did not listen to the episode. I did not watch. I did ironically, not. So, so ironically, I, I think between... Yeah, round of applause for that question. 
Are we good enough for you? Okay, so here's what's weird, right? I listen to more of the Monday episode or the Tuesday episode than I do the celebrity interviews. Oh, okay. I used to listen to them religiously. I think I got put off by Kelly Kumar. Why? It sounded like a church sermon of sorts. It was, it was, it was, it was annoying. Understandable, you know? yeah. And I stopped. I stopped. I must watch Couple Couples Funny, man. Yeah, I think after Kelly, I never really were. Oh, and then I think I watched Caesar as well because Caesar was way after Kelly, right? Yeah, but, but you, you were part. It. You were part of Caesar, so <laughs> I think you were listening to yourself to so you can pan. <laughs> no, 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 not even alone. I, I was, I was a part of it, and I actually left midway through the whole thing. Oh, okay. um, I listened to who did I listen to recently? No, it doesn't matter. Just yes. answer the question. So the question that to give you a simple answer, I actually do listen. I think I listen to the podcast more than. The two of you put together. Is it? Nice. And when I say listen, I don't mean when you are editing it. No, 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 no. Mm. I mean like when I'm moving around type of thing. And like, you are a very appreciative. Oh, I, I, do, don't, eh? I yeah. do. I do upload, actually. I do upload episodes on my uh, on on iTunes. Yeah. And I listen to them while I'm driving. Oh, Podbean. Or oh, Podbean, yes. Mm. I can only yeah, listen. Well, I just press play here and then it plays. But I don't listen to it when I'm at home. Mm. So I, I with with everything really. I only me, listen when I'm editing, eh? Because mm. like after I'm finished editing, I'm like, all right, cool. On to the next episode. But you know what's interesting, Migji? Also, maybe our assumptions, vibe. You know what's interesting? Is that the episodes that he records with celebrities that he's crazy about and not the episodes that subscribers are crazy about. That's yeah, what I've noticed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. definitely what I've noticed. Yeah, it's weird, eh? I wonder what he takes from the interview that gets him so, you know? I wonder. No, for me, it's about energies. I think I've, I've mentioned this before. Oh, I, 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 I get a hard on. Or oh, Eskom. <laughs> <laughs> right now, it has no energy, though. <laughs> Lord shed it. Kill. I think, I think, I think. Yeah, you, you're you right, eh? It's weird, eh? That's very weird, actually. Mm. Almost always. The ones he loves the most mm. are the ones that people are don't not crazy, about. crazy about, that people it's, are not it's, crazy it's, about. It's a, it's, it's a mind fuck type of thing. Like, yeah. You know, it's like that thing where you love a person, but they don't love you as much as you do. Because you love them. But what do you what would you prefer though, Mekchi? Mm? Um celebrities or us? What do you Oh no, Monday. Monday. Gonna, he's gonna lie to us and tell us Monday. Uh, ah no, definitely Monday. He's gonna what? lie to us. Ah oh, Monday, Chief. Ah. ah Monday, Chief. Did he not befriend Prince KB and threw you us know, out? <laughs> you know? Did he not befriend Shimza and threw you us know, out? Quickly. And then he tells us Monday. Uh, ah don't Monday. Be sold. Ah Monday, Chief. Why? No, because they said when they wanted the two million. Okay, what do you love about us? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I, I want to bait him. What do, just tell us, what do you love about us? The Talk. energy, the vibe. Which energy? The vibe in the air. But when are you know, like December, there's a vibe. Typical, typical celebrity mentality. Ah, typical I, celebrity I, mentality. Hey, what are... a <laughs> It's time to say goodbye. What must <laughs> anyway, what's remaining? Uh, Empton Journey, the 1st of December from 2 o'clock, you said, right? Yeah. 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock, yes. Uh, yeah, 50 bucks, cooler box. No, but to answer a question, let me be honest. For me, uh, coming on here every Monday, it's like, it's like therapy. Oh, okay. Do you get what I'm saying? Okay. It's like I'm chilling with my friends and we just we're just talking shit, you know? That's why it's it puzzles me how subscribers hang on every single single thing that we say. We say yeah. You know? Because if Len asks me, hey, uh, do you have a big dick? <laughs> okay. Yo, that got that went south very quickly. Oh. I'm just gonna say the first thing that comes into my head. Like the things that we say in this podcast. It's not like we sit down and we plan and we're like, all right, okay, uh, at t- 10 minutes we're going to talk about this, 20 minutes we're going to talk about this. That's why it's so difficult to do timestamps. You understand mm. what I'm saying? 
So I don't know why people hang on everything we say. Assumptions. Because Assumptions. it's just the first thing that comes to my mind. I haven't done research or sat down and thought properly about it. It's just a matter of, oh, cool. Then ask me a question. That's the first thing that came into my mind. Boom. What's your favorite gospel song? The first thing that came into my mind was, as you know? But had I sat down, I would have, you know, gone to Rebecca Malope. Nova. You get what I'm saying? I think McD. <laughs> That's what he would have probably went to. McD, I think maybe you know, you are you are you are like conservative at heart. Is it conservative? The word I'm looking for, like down to earth type vibes. Like what he gives off is not exactly what he is. I think that's why maybe people always think he will enjoy the celebrity part of it when actually he enjoys the Monday part. I think he's just down to earth at heart. And not for cloud like people think he is. I think that's why. Oh, well said. Round of applause for that. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> cloud chasing for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. But yeah, that's what it is, man. The celebrities, it depends who it is. There's some people that you can feel a good vibe, you know? Yeah. And you're like, oh, this is going to be a dope interview. Okay. And there's some people that you can tell, ah, this one is just It's this. okay. You are also good vibes to us, so. Yeah. 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 But with this, it's like, it's like therapy, man. Yeah. You know? It's like, fuck, we just come here, we talk what we want. Is it better than retail therapy? Do you have to do it every day? Mm-hmm. Every day. I would do it, but I think subscribers would get sick of it. I, 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 I. Not really. It becomes like That's radio. why radio sucks. Uh, there's a reason why Game of Thrones did not play every day. And it still became one of the biggest series to, or any television product. But to be, to be devil's advocate. Mm. Are you always make that example. Yeah. You hoi puns every day. Every day. Yes. Mm. But they are, you see, we don't talk about the same shit every day. Same thing with if we were recorded every day. We would not talk about the same shit every day. You see, But he would he'd hoi puns. Every day. Every episode. Mm. So at what point does then that become redundant? Mm. No, I don't think it does. You see, the thing with a, with, 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 with a pun is, or sarcasm, mm. right, is there's a time and place. Mm. Like, we don't, we don't sit down and script that you're going to say this. And then I'm going to say this. It's based on what we say because everything is unscripted. Mm. So in the unscripting moment, you say something in as much as I'm listening to you. For, for what it's worth, I actually listen to a lot of what is said. That is why I'm able to say half of the nonsense that I say. Mm. Because I am listening to what you say. Okay. Yes. So... So you put a lot of thoughts into your pants. N- not really. It's, it's <laughs> no. <laughs> I think if you had to, if you had to ask me what was easy, what was yeah. being quick to pick up a pun or being charming. What do you want to say, Zels? Hey. No, she needs a drink. Ah, walk out it's then. It's hot. Oh, oh shame. How Zels? It's hot here. <laughs> Actually, no, that was a bad example. She's like, like she's in prison, yo. If I had to choose between picking on a pun and going with it yeah. and learning how to drive, mm-hmm. I would stick with the puns because they come so seamlessly. But okay. then when do the puns become too much? Just like us recording every day yeah. becomes too much. They like don't. You made you an example need... of Game of Thrones. Mm. So what... W- you, don't, you, don't, you don't drop them all the time. And also, you don't say... I, I don't... You see, I think the perception is or the misperception. Assumption. Or the assumption mm. uh, is that I sit here. I'm like, <laughs> I'm waiting for the next one. I'm waiting for the next one. No. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. It literally happens in. You see, like you said, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. I'm trying to answer him, and then I'm like, okay, cool. It's like I try and multitask while I'm answering him. I hear what you said, and I pick up on like, okay, cool. What can I salvage? Not even salvage. What can I play on this that will make the moment either lighter or make it more mm. interesting. You know, like how people say, can I do an episode without talking about sex? Can you do an episode without puns? Pun? Oh, easy. Easy. I've got, oh, no, no. With puns, I've got self-control. <laughs> so you think I don't... <laughs> <laughs> you have a problem. <laughs> what's, what's 
Uh, no, not men's clinic is not your place. <laughs> Can I, is there a place called Sexaholics Sex- Aco- Anonymous? Anonymous. <laughs> type of thing yeah. no i can do i can do a whole episode without punning actually yeah. i can yeah i can it's just i i pick those moments because sometimes i feel like if i let it go then it's a moment wasted oh mm. got you mm. it's like, self-control it's like comedians mm. in as much as they practice their sets i don't practice the podcast mm. if anything Leo in the building. I might be better than comedians. Hey! Oh, Imagine if you practice. Shout out to Trevor Noah for being uh, nominated for a Grammy. Mm. Um, Is he? Nice. Yes. Well, for what? For Late night? No, best Grammy. Grammy. Oh, he's not a musician. No, so comedy, comedy, comedy shows uh, are considered as like an album of sorts. Uh, yes. Oh. Hey, but he's going up against... Hey, he's going Ma- up against Mbuzi. He's going up against the Mbuzi chief. Who? Mm. Dave Chappelle. Dave yes. Chappelle. Yes. Yeah. And the latest thing that David Chappelle took out. Ooh. So it's son of Patricia going up uh, up against the David Chappelle special that came out just now. Yeah, now. I know, but that one is crude. Trevor will win it because, you know, um, he's more relatable and it's more PG-13. Mm. It's it's good PR for them. Yeah. He could take Cause, it cause because Dave Chappelle it's is safer. Yeah, it's safer. The He's Dave talking Chappell about LGBTs. He, <laughs> he went deep. As he much as a deep. lot of people agree with him, but hey. It's like the podcast against radio. Who would, who would we, win? Reba Bata one by one. <laughs> Reba Bata one by one. With no money. Yeah. Mm. From seven to five to whether you're in the Metropolitan or Usekaya. <laughs> or the sports. Or whatever. Why not? Oh, <laughs> Bona, Hosan, Ekagasini. Oh. We'll even give you some good hope. Hey! Hey! I think that was out here. We're getting too drunk now. We are here, man. No, we're not. No, I'm not. Okay, I am. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Talk for yourself. <laughs> Tina's your okay. right. Podcast and chill, we are here. Thank you very much. We can't wait to see all the chillers, man. Yeah. First December. First December. Sunday. M20. Pool party, bring your bikinis. So, swim. It's going to be lit. Yeah. Yeah. Lynn's going to have a stand-up uh, comedian show oh just before nice. scoop. Stand-up comedy show. Yeah. Hey, just before scoop. And you're, are you going to practice this one? You're going to write it down? Or are you just going to go on the mic? I think I'm not... Me, I like going in... Blood, hard. Boy. Oh. No. Well, hard and blood. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, I shoot. Man. Oh, guys, this is our second last. Last... <laughs> <laughs> our second last episode oh, before wow. the year ends. You wanna depress the chillers just like that? Oh, is it our third? Ah, uh-uh, no. we don't know. We don't. Okay, we don't know. Out. All right, all right. Yeah. Sharp, sharp, sharp. Yeah. Susan Bona next week. And all the chillers who are traveling, going, leaving universities and wherever, travel safe. Yeah. See you next year, guys. Enjoy home without Wi-Fi. Yeah. Nando. <laughs>